Hi everyone, it's Tilly and welcome back to my channel and today I am joined with you barefaced. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of Primark makeup. So I've seen this video floating around a bit, well a bit, a lot on YouTube and I just thought I'd give it a go because I've never actually tried any Primark makeup so I just thought it'd be really fun to see how it is because a lot of people think it's really good so fingers crossed it's all great because it's all really super duper affordable if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and comment down below and obviously if you aren't already make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that little bell so you get notified every time i upload and let's get into the video so i currently have nothing on my face like just my bare skin so that's all we're going in with i didn't bother getting a primer just because Sometimes I don't even use a primer, so I don't think there was any point of getting a primer. We are going to start off with the PS My Perfect Colour Longwear Ultimate Matte Foundation. And it says Double Coverage Matte Finish Oil Free SPF 15. And I got this in the shade Toffee. And it looks, you know, a little bit dark. It might be really good on the first day of my fake tan, but they all looked really pink. And they don't really have that much of a great colour selection, which is a shame. So I had to get Toffee. And this is £5, which is really good for a foundation, and loads of people love this one. I made sure to buy a light concealer, though, so we could resurrect the situation. I know it looks bad on camera. God, it's just super dry. Maybe I just don't have enough on my face. <laughs> the only thing I hate about not having, like, a pump, or even, like, a, like a, is it a wand? Oh, God, it's literally not coming out. Come on. I know on camera it looks like, compared to my face... A total different colour but it actually matches my fake tan quite well. I haven't actually bought any Primark brushes just because I just I just didn't to be honest. This is the foundation done and you know what even though it was kind of a struggle to get on and I thought it was going to be the totally like wrong colour it actually matches my fake tan really well. Obviously it might oxidise and get darker so now we're moving on to concealer and I got the PS My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer in the shade cool sand and this is medium coverage and it has vitamin e and aloe vera in it and this was two pounds which is really good for a concealer i'm hoping that it's really creamy and lovely so i actually got this in quite a light color just because i was worried about the foundation being too dark but now this is going to be too light so i'm not going to go too heavy with the concealer and then we'll just highlight with this as well where did I put my beauty blender? Oh, it's there. Oh. And then we're just going to go in with the beauty blender to just try and blend it all out. As someone who has really bad dark circles, it's not really covering that much, but that's probably just my fault because I've got a really light shade and I should have got a more, like, my skin tone pinky shade. Overall, I think this concealer is really nice. It hasn't creased on me yet, and that's normally a really big problem that I have with concealers is that they literally crease on me straight away. And also, Primark had some really nice bits in there. So if you want to see a Primark haul maybe, then let me know down below and I will definitely go and do that because I need an excuse to go and spend my money in Primark. So the next thing I'm using is from their Nudes collection and it's the Cream Contour Duo Stick. Now I have actually done a video on this so I will link it down below. I can't remember exactly how much this is because I don't have the box on me but I'm pretty sure it's like six or eight pounds. And that is like the cream side of the base done. And I feel like it actually doesn't look that bad. So overall I would rather my dark circles be covered up a little bit more but I just don't think with like the kind of shade it's just not really going to happen. The contouring looks good, the foundation looks good. Overall, I have no real complaints as of yet. I think it is going pretty well. So next I am moving on to powder and I've got my perfect colour mattifying powder and it's medium coverage and it's in porcelain. What I found in my Primark, I don't know if it's like it at all of the Primarks, but my one, literally everything was opened, which is so annoying because obviously you don't want to buy something that's opened. And it's not like they even didn't have any testers. Like, there were, like, at least three testers for everything. I had to get porcelain. I did want to get... I think it was called Nude, maybe. So I have got this super light powder. So I'm just going to go quite light-handed with it. And this was only £2. So I think that's really good because it comes with a cute little mirror as well. And mirrors on their own are normally like three or four pounds. So this is definitely a little bit light and it's very pigmented. Normally you can get quite lucky with powders and they don't really give you much colour, but not today. But I can see already I've got creasing here, which happens over time, but I don't normally see it this early on into wearing the makeup. So that is a little bit disappointing, but 
it might be because I'm talking as well or something. I can't really see a difference between like my normal makeup, like my high-end and drugstore stuff over like the Primark things. But next I am using bronzer and I got the PS Bronze Bronze Queen Matte Bronzer and I'm really happy they had a matte bronzer because I just don't really get along with shimmery bronzers because then I feel like it takes away from the highlight. So I picked up this bronzer. I actually think I really like this really good and this was only two pounds and it's in the shade sunrise if i didn't already say i don't think i did say that nextly we are moving on to highlighters and i have to say they had a ton of choice for highlighters they had three or four palettes i believe i think they might have had four and then they also had these little single ones and this is the ps brunch club highlighter i believe they had three shades and honestly looks so stunning oh my goodness I am literally shocked. How much was this highlighter? £2.50. Do you know what this reminds me of? Kylie's highlighters. They literally just copy everyone in there. Love it. No shame. So nextly, we are moving on to eyebrows. And they had not too much choice on eyebrow products, if I'm honest. They had a lot of pencils, which is fine if you like that, but I just don't really like that. So I picked up the PS All About Brows Colour Set and Highlight Brow Palette. And this was £2.50 and I got medium to dark. To be honest, until I just read it just then, didn't know they had any choices. I'm going to go in with the gel just because that's what I'm used to using. So as I thought, it is super creamy, but that's never a bad thing. There's nothing worse than having a super dry eyebrow gel. And I actually really like the colour. In the pan, it looks like it's going to be a little bit like too warm toned. But once you put it in your eyebrows and brush it out a little bit it honestly doesn't look that bad well at least i think so so definitely with practice i've done this eyebrow a lot better than this eyebrow obviously just naturally it's gonna happen isn't it so i'm just gonna go back and adjust this one and hopefully that should be it so now that the eyebrows are done and i think they've actually turned out really well i do really really like that brow product i'm now moving on to eyes and i'm gonna give everyone i was gonna say five seconds but i don't think you even need that long i'm gonna give you two seconds to figure out who this is a dupe slash copying of. This is exact, like, honestly, exactly like the Naked Heat palette. And this one was only, oh, I don't have the price on the left here. How much was it? Four pounds. That took a while for me to find. For a 10 shadow palette. And again, this one doesn't have a mirror, which is a shame because that would have been like an amazing mirror to have in there. But I'm not going to complain for four pounds. And it's the PS Amber Eyeshadow Palette. And also I've heard really, really good things about Primark eyeshadows. They also had a chocolate palette, but I just didn't really see myself using that one. So I'm going to take tan. And we're going to use that as our crease colour to just, well, our transition colour. Oh, whoa, that comes out totally different than what it is inside the pan. Then I take the colour Saffron, which is this, like, pinky colour. I don't really know how it's going to come out, though. And we're just going to deepen the outer corner and the crease. Yeah, it's definitely an orange colour. You don't really need to be heavy-handed with these because they are so pigmented. And then, finally, I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush and go in with Rust. Literally just in the corners just to darken it up a little bit i think that i want to go with this gold color here for the lid and it's called mirage Mir mirage mirage not too sure but i'm just gonna take it on a flat brush it's like a bronzy copper gold color and oh, 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 it is so pigmented and i'm using a brush normally you don't get this with brushes this eyeshadow palette was four pounds and it's amazing so now we are going to go under the eyes and basically just go in the same order that we went in with the colors as before to join it all together so that is the eyeshadow done and honestly guys i am speechless like honestly speechless so for eyelashes, I don't know if this is cheating or not, but I'm just going to be using my normal GWA Princess Lashes because I love them so much. And you can also buy them in Primark for, I believe, £3. So technically that's not cheating, right? Because you get them in Primark. But I did get a Primark mascara, and this is the PS False Lash Effect Extreme Length Definition Volume Mascara. 
this one. It's the gold one. I think they had three or four mascaras and literally is just mascara. So I'm going to go put on my lashes and mascara and I will be right back. So I've just applied my lashes and mascara. I also put on the mascara, which I think turned out pretty well, but I didn't really like the brush. It's just super chunky. So I found it quite hard to get really close to like my eye because I was a little bit worried about poking myself in the eye. The last thing I got from Primark was a lip product and this is the PS My Perfect Nude Nourishing Lip Gloss in the shade Pink Teddy. I have to say Primark have so many lip products, like so many, which is always really good and they are all really affordable. One thing I did notice is that they are literally copying Kylie's lip kits, which is just hilarious, but I didn't get one of those just because I wanted to get something that I think that I will like, and I do think I'll like this. Oh my gosh. What does that smell of? It smells like sweets. It smells so good. It smells like the green starbursts. So this is the finished lips guys, let me know what you think. I've never actually worn like a super pigmented lip gloss and I think I kind of like it. So guys, this is the finished look, let me know down below what you think. I honestly love it. I honestly don't think that you can see a difference between my everyday makeup that I love and this makeup that I've got on right now. So I'm very impressed and it's all super affordable which is the best thing about it. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already to see more videos by me and I will see you all on Wednesday with a new video. Bye!